What we now have is evidence that the infall of meteorites into the sun can trigger solar outbursts. So coronal mass injections because it's intaking yes. mass. Well, that's amazing. Okay, so interesting. So that's sort of this hybrid. It's, it's almost like this torrid meteor stream sets off a chain of other calamities because you're yes. talking about seismic activity, volcanic that's, activity, sun I, activity. Yes, that's, I think that's the, that, that's the way you have to look at it. We're looking at a coherent system what I think is we're, we're getting to the point where we can now understand kind of almost a unified process. All of your ideas around, you know, cyclical cataclysms uh, when it comes to the torrid meteor stream wouldn't be made possible without that sort of architecture to the solar system. And see, so what happens is it's the conjunctions of the large outer planets that can perturb the comets in the inner zone of the Kuiper disk, which are in very quasi-stable orbits, which means that if you have, imagine that you got a flat surface and you put a sphere on it. Well, if you have an impulse in any direction, it can move, right? Now suppose you have a, a dimple in a flat plane and you put your sphere in there. Well, now it's gonna take a whole lot more force to move that, because you've gotta overcome it, the fact that it's sitting in this depression, a basin, see? Suppose, on the other hand, it's sitting on top of a hill. Right? And it's sitting there, as long as nothing disturbs it, it sits there precariously perched. But a little bit of force pushed on it, it begins rolling down, right? Mm -hmm. Quasi-stable. The, the consequence of that is the conjunctions of the large outer planets